In the journey of spiritual awakening, many believe it's a path lit only by the light of positivity and enlightenment, where each step forward is a serene float toward higher understanding. Yet this voyage holds more depth, weaving through shades of darkness that are seldom spoken of, yet immensely powerful in shaping the essence of our spiritual growth. It's essential to acknowledge the presence of challenges that accompany this awakening, as they serve as vital teachers on our path. Among these challenges are seven dark side effects that often go unnoticed or unspoken. First, depression can envelop us like a thick fog, making it difficult to see the light that once guided us. Anxiety, too, can emerge as a constant companion whispering doubts and fears that shake our newly formed beliefs. Then there's the battle with addiction, a struggle that can take many forms, from substance abuse to addictive behaviors, all serving as distractions from our inner turmoil. Obsessive compulsive behaviors can surface, pushing us into repetitive actions or thoughts that feel impossible to control. Negative thought patterns may become a maze from which escape seems unlikely, trapping us in cycles of self-doubt and criticism. Disconnection from those around us can intensify as we find ourselves on a plane of existence that feels miles apart from those we once felt close to. Lastly, the development of a spiritual ego is an unexpected turn where, in seeking humility, we may find ourselves ensnared by a sense of superiority over others who walk different paths. These aspects of the journey, as dark as they may appear, are not detours or dead ends. They are, in fact, integral parts of the awakening process, signposts that indicate our deep engagement with the transformation unfolding within use. By recognizing and understanding these challenges, we prepare ourselves to navigate through them with resilience and grace, knowing that each step taken in darkness is a step toward the dawn of our true awakening. In the tapestry of spiritual awakening, the ego plays a role of profound complexity and undeniable necessity. Often viewed through a lens of negativity, the ego is a cornerstone of our identity and a crucial player in the way we navigate the world. It is the voice that tells us who we are, anchors us in our sense of self, and helps us to interact with the vast, ever-changing world around us. Without it, we would be like ships without anchors, adrift in a sea of boundless uncertainty. Yet, the journey toward spiritual enlightenment invites us to explore the delicate dance of living with our ego in a harmonious balance. It's a dance of acknowledging its presence while not letting it lead every step we take. The challenge lies not in extinguishing the ego, but in understanding its dual nature, its ability to both ground us and, at times, bind us. An imbalance in this intricate relationship can lead us down a path where the ego, in its hunger for control, dominance, and recognition, overshadows the deeper, more authentic parts of ourselves. It can entice us into living a life dictated by superficial desires and societal pressures, far removed from our true essence and purpose. On the flip side, attempting to deny the ego entirely can leave us feeling lost, disconnected from the practical realities of life, and vulnerable to the very pitfalls we sought to avoid. Accepting the ego as a part of our spiritual journey requires a dance of grace and mindfulness, where we learn to listen to its whispers, but not be swayed by its demands. It's about finding a middle ground where the ego serves as a tool, not a tyrant. In this balanced state, we harness the strength of our identity and personal power while remaining open to the boundless wisdom and connection that spiritual awakening brings. This harmonious balance is the true art of spiritual living, 
allowing us to walk with confidence in our individuality while remaining deeply connected to the vast web of life that surrounds us. At the heart of every profound transformation lies a passage through the darkness, a phase known in the spiritual journey as the dark night of the soul. This period, though intensely challenging, is a pivotal chapter in the saga of awakening. It's a time when the familiar lights that guided us seem to dim, leaving us in a night that tests the very core of our being. Yet, it is within this darkness that the seeds of our true selves are sown and nurtured. The dark night of the soul envelopes us in a tapestry of emotions. Chaos becomes the ground we walk on, losing the air we breathe. Anxiety and depression often join as unwelcome companions, whispering doubts and fears that shake the foundations of our identity. This is a time when existential questions become our daily bread, prompting a deep re-evaluation of who we are, what we value, and the very essence of our existence. Navigating this phase requires not just courage, but profound trust in the process of transformation. It's about holding space for ourselves, allowing every feeling of chaos, every moment of loss, to unfold and reveal its lessons. This isn't a journey of finding quick fixes or bright lights to banish the darkness instantly. It's about learning to sit with discomfort and find a sense of peace and purpose even when the night seems endless. The dark night of the soul, for all its challenges, is neither a punishment nor a sign that we have lost our way. Rather, it is a rite of passage, a stripping away of what no longer serves us to make room for a deeper, more authentic connection with our true selves. As we navigate through this phase, we emerge on the other side stronger, more grounded, and with a renewed sense of clarity and purpose. The darkness, once a fearsome adversary, becomes a trusted teacher, guiding us toward the dawn of a new awareness, a new beginning. In the landscape of our inner world, there exists a territory often left uncharted, known as the shadow self. This hidden realm is a collection of the parts of ourselves we've pushed away into the dark, deemed unacceptable by our conscious minds or society's standards. These repressed and denied aspects of our personality hold the power of emotions, desires, and traits we've sidelined in the quest to fit into the molds created for us. The shadow self is not an enemy. It's a forgotten part of our wholeness, whispering for attention and integration. Facing our shadow self is a courageous act of self-discovery and an essential step on the path of spiritual growth. It's about turning towards the parts of us we've been taught to fear or feel ashamed of with a spirit of openness and compassion. This process is not about eradicating these aspects, but recognizing them as vital pieces of our complete being. It's in the acceptance and integration of our shadows that we find our most profound strength and authenticity. Confronting the shadow self invites us to break free from the chains of denial and self-judgment. It challenges us to ask, what parts of me have I been neglecting or fighting against? The journey of integration is transformative, offering us the chance to accept our full spectrum of being light and dark. As we acknowledge and incorporate our shadows, we step into a more expansive version of ourselves, equipped with a deeper understanding and acceptance of who we truly are. This endeavor, while daunting, is a gateway to unparalleled freedom and self-love. It propels us forward on our spiritual journey, not by bypassing the darkness, but by weaving it into the fabric of our being. In this integration lies the key to true spiritual growth, a growth that doesn't seek to fragment us into parts, but celebrates the entirety of our existence. Here, 
In the dance of light and shadow, we discover the harmony of our true selves, which is beautifully complex and wholly complete. In the journey of spiritual awakening, the concept of death holds a profound and often misunderstood place. Far from being a morbid fixation, contemplating death serves as a powerful catalyst for deep, transformative growth. It invites us to confront the transient nature of our existence, prompting a re-evaluation of what truly matters in the tapestry of life. This meditation on mortality is not an exercise in fear, but a liberation from it, a reminder to live more fully, consciously, and authentically. True enlightenment beckons us to face, not flee from, the various forms of pain that accompany our human experience. It teaches us that avoidance only leads to more suffering, whereas accepting life's inevitable challenges fosters resilience, compassion, and a deeper understanding of our shared human condition. The role of death in spiritual awakening is akin to a mirror, reflecting back to us the preciousness of each moment and urging us to consider the legacy we wish to leave behind. By integrating the reality of death into our spiritual practice, we are compelled to let go of superficial concerns, petty grievances, and the illusion of control. This profound acceptance allows us to prioritize love, relationships, and the pursuit of purpose over fleeting distractions. It sharpens our focus on the present, encouraging us to act with kindness and intention, fully aware that each day is a gift not to be squandered. Meditating on death thus becomes a gateway to profound inner peace and fulfillment. It dismantles the fear that often holds us back from true living and serves as a constant reminder to cherish the here and now. In this space of acceptance and understanding, we find the courage to navigate life's pains with grace, knowing that they are but chapters in the larger story of our awakening. Through this lens, death teaches us not about the end, but about the infinite possibilities of each present moment, guiding us toward a life of depth, meaning, and connection. In the quest for inner peace and understanding, it's crucial to distinguish the path of true spirituality from the tempting avenue of escapism. While both may seem to offer a refuge from the storms of life, their destinations are worlds apart. The misconception that spirituality serves as an escape from reality is a myth that needs dispelling. True spirituality, in its most authentic form, is not about turning away from the whirlwind of life's challenges, but rather facing them with an open heart and a steadfast spirit. Genuine spiritual awakening invites us to lean into life's difficulties, to meet them with courage and compassion, rather than seeking to bypass them. It teaches us that the essence of growth and enlightenment lies not in the avoidance of discomfort, but in the brave confrontation of our fears, pains, and uncertainties. This journey towards awakening is marked by a deep engagement with the world, an acceptance of its imperfections, and a commitment to contribute positively, no matter the adversity faced. Accepting spirituality as a means to confront, rather than escape, Reality enriches our lives in profound ways. It offers clarity in confusion, strength in vulnerability, and most importantly, a sense of connectedness to the larger tapestry of existence. The challenges we face become opportunities for transformation, catalysts that propel us toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. This approach to spirituality does not deny the hardships of life, but rather sees them as integral to the development of our character and soul. It encourages us to live fully in the present, to appreciate the beauty and lessons embedded in each moment, and to forge a path of genuine awakening that honors the full spectrum of human experience. 
Here, in the acceptance of life's full reality, spirituality reveals itself, not as an escape, but as a profound journey back to our true selves, grounded, resilient, and whole. Navigating the intricate journey of spiritual awakening, we encounter a landscape where the profound and the profound blur together, where the line between transcendent experiences and mental health challenges becomes as delicate as a spider's web. This delicate balance is a testament to the complexity of human consciousness, a realm where spiritual ascension and mental health intersect, often with confusing and misunderstood implications. The journey of awakening can sometimes mirror symptoms traditionally associated with mental illness, such as intense emotional fluctuations, altered states of perception, and a deep questioning of one's reality. These experiences, while potentially unsettling, the essence can be a gateway to profound personal growth and understanding. It's essential to recognize that what might be quickly labeled as a disorder, in one context, could, in another, signify a significant spiritual unfolding. This fine line calls for a nuanced approach to both spiritual exploration and mental health care, highlighting the importance of support, understanding, and open dialogue. It underscores the need for compassionate guidance from those who can navigate both realms, offering a bridge between worlds that often seem at odds but, in truth, can offer complementary insights into the nature of being. Understanding this intersection invites us to expand our definitions of wellness and healing, integrating the spiritual dimension into our concepts of mental health. It encourages a holistic view that honors the full spectrum of human experience, recognizing that the path to true well-being encompasses both the mind and the spirit. As we journey through the complexities of awakening and mental health, we're invited to accept a broader perspective, one that sees beyond labels and diagnoses to the deeper truths of the human experience. In this space, we find the courage to explore all facets of our being, understanding that each step, each challenge, and each revelation brings us closer to our most authentic selves where true healing and transformation can occur. In the rich tapestry of indigenous cultures around the world, the interpretation of emotions and mental states weaves a story of deep connection between the soul, the earth, and the wider cosmos. What many modern societies may classify as mental health issues, indigenous wisdom often sees as vital messages from the soul urging us to pay attention to imbalances within and around us. In these ancient teachings, it is not just a symptom to be suppressed, but a signal alerting us that our heart and mind may be out of sync with our true path. It's viewed as a call to realign with our purpose and the natural rhythms of life, a reminder to slow down, listen, and reconnect with the guiding spirit of nature and our community. Depression, too, holds a different significance, seen not merely as a personal struggle, but as an expression of a deeper disconnection from the communal web of life. It calls for a healing journey that often involves reconnecting with one's roots, traditions, and the land. Accepting the support of the community and finding one's place in the circle of life. Schizophrenia and other altered states of perception are approached with reverence and curiosity, considered potential gateways to unseen worlds and deeper layers of reality. Those experiencing these states are often provided with a supportive space to explore their visions and voices, guided by elders and healers who help them navigate these experiences and integrate them into a broader understanding of their spiritual purpose and community role. These perspectives invite us to broaden our understanding of mental health, 
seeing beyond the medical model to consider the messages our soul might be trying to convey through our emotions and states of being. By honoring these insights from indigenous cultures, we open ourselves to a more holistic, compassionate approach to healing, one that respects the wisdom of our inner experiences and the interconnectedness of all aspects of life. In adopting these teachings, we're reminded that every emotion and every challenge is part of our journey back to wholeness, offering us the opportunity to grow, learn, and deepen our connection to the world around us. It's a call to view our mental health not just as a personal issue, but as a sacred path of discovery, leading you toward greater harmony, understanding, and peace. In the profound voyage of spiritual discovery, navigating through the darker waters requires not only courage, but also the wisdom to recognize when we are veering too close to the edges where light fades into shadow. The journey is as much about balance as it is about growth, maintaining a steady course even when the seas of spirituality churn with complexity and challenge. To gracefully exit the dark side of spirituality before it becomes all-consuming, the first beacon to follow is awareness. Like a lighthouse guiding ships through treacherous waters, awareness illuminates the signs of imbalance, obsession with spiritual practices at the expense of personal health, relationships, and responsibilities. Feelings of superiority over those who walk different paths or a pervasive sense of isolation from the world. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards steering back to a balanced and healthy spiritual practice. Equally crucial is the practice of self-compassion and patience. In our quest for enlightenment or awakening, we may find ourselves tangled in the thorns of self-judgment or frustration. Remember, every journey is unique and the path unfolds in its own time. Kindness to oneself is a powerful antidote to the harshness of the dark side, reminding us that growth often comes in waves with highs and lows. Engaging with a community of like-minded seekers can also provide a lifeline back to balance. Sharing experiences, challenges, and insights with others on similar paths can light the way forward offering support, understanding, and sometimes a necessary reality check. It's through these connections that we find strength, inspiration, and a reminder that we are not alone in our search for meaning. Lastly, grounding practices that connect us to the here and now, like mindfulness, meditation, and spending time in nature, can help anchor us in the present moment. These practices remind us of the beauty and richness of the physical world, the importance of our relationships, and the simple joys of being alive. In emphasizing awareness and balance, we navigate the spiritual journey with grace and wisdom, ensuring that our exploration of life's deeper meanings enriches rather than consumes us. This balanced approach not only safeguards our well-being, but also enhances our capacity to grow, learn, and ultimately find the peace and understanding we seek. As we reach the end of our journey today, a pivotal question stands before us. Do you want enlightenment? This query is not a challenge, but an invitation to dive deep into the essence of your spiritual quest and reflect on what you truly seek. The path to enlightenment is rich with both light and shadow, and accepting both is essential to our growth and understanding. I encourage you to ponder your journey with honesty and openness. What draws you to seek enlightenment? What challenges have you faced? And how have they shaped your understanding and your path forward? Let's create a space of shared wisdom and support. I invite you to share your experiences and insights on the dark side of spiritual awakening in the comments below. How have you navigated the challenges? 
What lessons have you learned? Your stories and reflections can light the way for others on this path. And if you found value in our exploration today, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your engagement helps us build a community of seekers united in our quest for deeper understanding and growth.